Welcome everyone to today's presentation on mortar in clay masonry walls, presented on behalf of ThinkBrick Australia. So just some background information before we begin. This presentation will go through relevant standards and definitions regarding mortar joints in masonry structures. This presentation will also go through a worked example for mortar durability requirements. AS3700 masonry structures and the AS4773 series design and construction for masonry in small buildings specifies the minimum design and construction requirements for mortar. Masonry describes individual units bound together by mortar. Typical units include clay bricks, concrete blocks, and stone. The mortar acts as the glue that holds the structure together. Mortar is defined as a mixture of fine aggregate, cement, water, and other cementitious additives. AS3700 specifies a nominal mortar joint thickness of 10 mm, which is subject to a tolerance of 3 mm. This nominal joint thickness should not deviate from the above values unless the variation has been appropriately designed for. There are two types of mortar beddings, full bedding and face shell bedding. Full bedding refers to the mortar covering the entire plan area of the masonry unit and is common in both solid and cord brick. Face shell bedding refers to the mortar covering only the plan area of the face shells, not the webs, and is common in hollow units. Mortar can be classed into one of the four composition categories. The higher the class number, the more durable the mortar is. The deemed to satisfy mortar mixes for each category is listed in Table 11.1 .1 of AS3700. It is important that the quality of the main mortar ingredients are met. The type of cement shall be carefully chosen as they contain different ingredients. The sand shall be washed, free of salts and organic matter. The presence of salts may cause efflorescence, a white powdery deposit that appears after the masonry wall is constructed. The sand shall also be suitably graded and not contain too much clay. The figure on the right shows a set of grading limits for the sand. However, it shall be used as a guide only. The water used shall be clean and free of impurities. If these conditions are not met, durability and strength issues can arise. Mortar durability is determined by performing a scratch test. The scratch test is to be performed in accordance with AS3700 Appendix E, Durability Testing. The scratch index requirements for each mortar class is specified in Table 11.2 of AS3700. The characteristic compressive strength of the masonry wall is also affected by the mortar class and the bedding type. The characteristic compressive strength of the masonry wall for various mortar and bedding types can be found in Table 3.1 of AS3700. The location of the masonry will also affect the mortar durability requirements. Location can be broadly defined as exterior or interior environments. Exterior and interior elements must meet the following definitions as shown below. Interior masonry work is subjected to the following mortar class requirements, dependent upon ground conditions. The minimum mortar classes for the following ground conditions are listed below. Marine environments are defined as areas that are 100 meters to one kilometer from a non-surf coast and one kilometer to 10 kilometers away from a surf coast. M3 mortar shall be used as a minimum for these environments. Severe marine environments are defined as areas up to 100 metres from a non-surf coast and up to 1 kilometre from a surf coast. M4 mortar shall be used for these environments. The soil in marine and severe marine environments are classified as aggressive. Industrial environments are defined as areas that are within 1 kilometre of major industrial complexes, producing severe acidic pollution. M4 mortar shall be used for these areas. Moderate environments are areas with light industrial pollution or very light marine influence, or both. Mild environments are areas that are remote from the coast, industrial activity, and the tropics. M2 mortar shall be used as the minimum for these environments. AS4773.1 lists some additional mortar durability requirements for some specific locations listed below. Firstly, masonry work below a damp-proof course or in contact with the ground. Secondly, masonry work with a waterproof coating above a damp-proof course 
and is protected by a roof. The minimum water classes for the following conditions are listed below. These durability requirements are collectively summarised in Table 4.1 of AS4773.1. You may have noticed M1 mortar is not specified for any of the applications found in the table. M1 mortar shall only be used on restorative works on pre-existing buildings, which originally used M1 mortar. M1 mortar shall not be used for any other applications. Architects often specify mortar joint finishes to their brickwork for architectural effect. Properly filled and tooled or iron joints improve the durability, weatherproofness and sound performance of the brickwork. The typical mortar joint finishes include flush, raked and tooled. The most durable mortar joints are tooled with the least durable being raked. Rake joints are subject to additional requirements. Raking a joint decreases the durability of the mortar joint and masonry wall. For this reason, rake joints shall not be used for hollow ungrouted masonry, is limited to a maximum depth of 10 mm and shall not be closer than 5 mm to any perforation in cord unit masonry or closer than 20 mm to any perforation in grouted hollow unit masonry. Rake joints shall not be used in marine, severe marine, industrial exposure environments, or bushfire prone areas. We will now go through a worked example on how to determine the durability class of mortar for a building. A house has been constructed within 5 kilometers from a surf coast. The external brickwork has no exterior coating. Determine the mortar durability requirements for the interior and exterior walls. As the house is located within 5 kilometers from a surf coast, the exposure environment can be classified as marine. Using Table 4.1 of AS3700, the mortar durability requirements can be determined for all walls of the house. Interior walls shall use M2 mortar, while exterior walls shall use M3 mortar. Soil in marine environments are classified as aggressive. For brickwork located below a DPC or in contact with the ground, two options are available. If no provisions to protect the brickwork are made, M4 mortar shall be used. If the brickwork is protected from water ingress by an impermeable membrane, M2 mortar shall be used. In summary, external walls shall use M3 mortar and internal walls shall use M2 mortar. Below damp proof courses, however, M4 mortar shall be used if no provisions are made to protect the brickwork. M2 mortar shall be used if the brickwork is protected from water ingress by an impermeable membrane. For ease of construction, it may be easier to choose the highest mortar class. In this case, M4 mortar may be chosen for the entire project. Additional resources include our TVA Manual 10, Construction Guidelines for Clay Masonry, which details the design and construction of clay masonry walls, including details for mortar joints. The Guide to Standards and Tolerances documentation produced by state and territory building authorities can be used to find more details on mortar. The association also offers a wide range of free resources available to the public, such as technical manuals, research papers, and case studies. The association also has a technical hotline where we can answer any of your brick or block related inquiries. Should you have any questions about the design and construction of brick or blocks, please feel free to give us a call on the technical hotline. This concludes the Mortar in Clay Masonry Walls presentation. Thank you for your time, and we hope you enjoyed today's presentation.